Hi, my name is Dennis from ONGC Systems and thank you for joining me on this brief FreeCX soft phone training video. Today we're going to be looking at how you can make a phone call, how you can receive or answer a phone call, how to park or transfer a call, as well as how to check your voicemail, how to use the company phone book and how to use the company presence screen all via the FreeCX soft phone. To begin, we want to come and start the FreeCX phone. The easiest way to do this is go to Start and simply type in FreeCX. This will allow you to open the FreeCX phone for Windows. Now if you don't see the keypad screen shown here, you can simply come down to the keypad option towards the bottom of the screen to ensure you're on the correct screen. Now to make a phone call, you can simply use your mouse and select the various numbers and select call. Or you can use the numpad, keypad or your keyboard directly to dial a number followed by either enter or again using your mouse to select the call button. This will now initiate the phone call. You'll see a slight change on the screen here as we've now got options to put the call on hold, mute your microphone, as well as recording your call, just to name a few. Once done, you can simply select end to hang up the call. You may also be required to answer calls using your phone, and I'm just going to have a phone call come in so we can demonstrate this. So you can see that my phone's just started ringing and I now have an option to answer, decline or to divert to voicemail. Simply selecting answer will connect me to the phone call. And again you can see a very similar to screen to what we saw when we were making a phone call. Now whilst on a phone call, you may need to put the call on park to allow someone else in the office to pick it up. To do this, come over to the little arrow towards the right side of your soft phone and this will present all of the shared park lines available. You'll notice here I have SP0 going down all the way through to SP9. SP stands for shared park and is effectively a hold line available to put calls on hold or park. As stated this will allow you to answer the call using another phone within the office. As you can see at the moment, most of mine are green. Green represents that there are no calls on the particular park line and that the line is available for use. You can see this one here, which is currently yellow, showing that there's actually a call currently in that line. If I come and select SP1 whilst I'm on this call, it will cause that line to turn yellow, which now states that the particular call I was on is in that park line. Going to any other phone within the organisation now and selecting SP1 will return me to that phone call. Or on my phone again selecting SP1 will connect me back to that phone call that I was on. Again once you're done you can simply come down and select end to hang up the phone call. Now you may also be required to call extensions within the office. And to do this, you can simply key in the extension number or type in the first name of the person you're looking for. This will then display the phone number or the extension or simply again hit enter to initiate the phone call. You can also come to the company phone book by coming down to contacts towards the lower left hand part of your screen which will show you all of the company phone books stored in the address book. Coming to presence information, which is further left, will show you all of the presence within the organisation. Presence basically shows whether or not the user is on a phone call, available or out of the office, represented by the various colours. Again, you can pick someone's name out of here in order to call them directly. 
clicking on the keypad will return you back to the main screen. You'll also notice this envelope towards the right part of my screen, which is the voicemail system. Currently, the icon is white to indicate that there are no voicemails. I'm just going to have a colleague leave a voicemail, which will change the colour to blue. So you can see here that my envelope icon has just turned blue. And if I click on that, it'll take me to a list of all voicemails available for my extension with the blue one being the latest. Simply double clicking the extension or the voicemail will allow you to play the message, call the person back directly, or mark the message as heard or unheard, which is effectively read or unread. Towards the bottom of the screen, you'll also have an option to delete the voicemail or to return back to the list of all voicemail messages. Again, once completed, selecting the keypad will take you back to the main page.